everyone, it's Nicole Spore here today for Simon Says Stamp, and today I am sharing some Slimline Picnic Parade cards showcasing the brand new August 2020 card kit called Picnic Parade. The great thing about these cards today is that almost everything I'm using is from the kit. I've just used some tools and things from my personal stash. So we're going to be using the Slimline Basics dies from Lawn Fawn. I have a couple of rectangles here and then I'm going to use some of the soft navy and green leaf cardstock included in the August kit and then some of the Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue cardstock from my own stash to create these layers. And this is going to be the same steps for both cards. We're going to have the soft navy rectangle that's going to completely cover our three and a half by, yes, three and a half by eight and a half inch slimline card base. And then we're going to have the middle rectangle that's the Audrey blue that's going to be our sky. And then the little landscape here that we've die cut with our Lawn Fawn die is going to be the ground. For the first card, we're going to be creating a parade of ants carrying off their treasures from the picnic. I am going to start with some stamped and embossed sentiments from the stamp set, one of the stamp sets, the 6x8 stamp set included in the kit, called Hello Sunshine. We're going to stamp Hello Sunshine in the upper left corner and then a smaller phrase down along the landscape border using Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink and Heat Embossing with White Embossing Powder. I am going to make sure that I get these heat set really well. Any stray embossing flakes I want to remove with my heat tool. And then I can go ahead and add a little bit more interest to the background for this first card with some of the cloud images from Hello Sunshine. So in addition to our two sentiments, we are going to stamp the clouds four times, the small cloud three times, and the large cloud once. And this is going to add a fun little decorative look to our background. I had a few stray embossing flakes and I'm using a dry paintbrush to remove those from my cardstock before I heat emboss. And I also had a little trouble getting that lined up as, or the embossing powder on the stamped image, it's kind of how I wanted it. So I ended up stamping it again, um, just to make sure that the A and Y, or no, the O and T and the word spot were showing up. Once I have these two layers, like I said, I'm going to take the Audrey Blue cardstock and we're going to stamp the clouds. And because the clouds are a nice size cloud solid image, I did go ahead and stamp those in my Misty just like I did for the sentiments so that I could stamp them more than once, mostly because these are brand new stamps and I find that they work a little bit better. In fact, the first two clouds, um, I stamped those a couple times with the clear embossing ink. And I still think that the remaining two clouds that I'm going to stamp on either side of my panel stamped better. And that's just kind of typical for clear stamps that they will often stamp better the more they're used. They will come with kind of a clear film. These are really not that bad, but I new stamps just sometimes, especially if it's covering a huge surface area, needs to be stamped a couple times. I am prepping the cardstock first with a powder tool to help keep that embossing powder hopefully only on the area that I'm stamping. What's fun about these cards today is I don't often use a ton of stickers and things in my card making, but these are absolute perfection and I love how I love the cute little faces on them. I love everything about these and they are just sized perfectly for card making. Um, really make cute, playful, and quick and easy cards. I think that's super key here. If you are looking for a card kit that you can make some really quick cards with, this is a fantastic one and some great summer themed cards as well. I am using a lot of product from the kit I am using the 6x8 stamp set, 
the little mini icon sticker sheets. That's what I'm going to be using for the little amps to be holding. The picnic parade shape sprinkles, which are little epoxy shaped stickers. That's going to be the ants and then a little heart I'm using. Green, the green leaf cardstock, black cardstock, soft navy cardstock, and the red slimline envelope and dandelion slimline envelope. That's another thing that Simon has recently released is slimline envelopes for the super popular slimline cards that are everywhere right now. Um, so I think these images work really, really well with the slimline design. It gives you a little bit more space to work with and you can build some really cute scenes, which is what I'm doing here today. A little bit later, um, I'll be sharing some other cards over on my personal blog with this same kit, um, used in a little bit different way, just to show you some variations on what all you can do with this awesome kit. We are ready to start putting it all together now. I'm going to adhere the Audrey Blue rectangle to the center of the soft navy one. We're going to add our green landscape. And then we the fun part, all of these darling little ant sprinkles, and then all of the fun little food and picnic items. Now I purposely picked um, things that they could kind of carry, and I also needed to be really aware of the height. I don't want anything to cover up the word sunshine, which a couple of the things I originally picked we're going to cover that up. So we've got our first little ant. He's got some watermelon. And then we've got our second one. And then I want to have a couple of ants carrying the picnic basket. We've added a little sunshine. And I'm tucking the sticker kind of be back behind the antenna of the ants to give it a little bit more of a cohesive look. And then we've got a little hot dog. We're going to have a little turkey leg or chicken leg. Um, an ear of corn, a cup full of spoons, a blueberry, and the blueberry is one of the things that I picked because it's not going to stick up so high. So I tried the corn and the chicken leg, and neither of those things were short enough to fit underneath so that I'm not covering up the word sunshine. So I'm just going to move those down to the end of the line. And I did end up actually adding another ant there kind of underneath the sun. We're going to scoot him over a bit and add another one. And originally I did put a kebab sticker there, but I feel like it just doesn't show up fantastic. Um, so I'm going to kind of carefully peel it up and put it back on my sticker sheet. I can use it for something else. And we're going to have these ants hold a hot dog instead. And you'll notice the difference. I left it in the video because I really wanted to see that against the white of that cloud, I really just don't think the kebab shows up as good as I'd like it to. We're gonna add a little epoxy heart underneath the smaller phrase. And we are almost done with this card. So quick. Now for the card base, I trimmed a piece of smooth white cardstock to seven inches by eight and a half inches. And then we'll go ahead and score that at the three and a half inch mark. And we are going to adhere our panel right to that card base. And I like to use an 80 pound weight card for this. I just use some cardstock I had on hand for my card base and we're going to pop that in place. I like to line it up with the half that has the score line in case anything is hanging down below. So maybe, you know, human error, if I didn't get it trimmed exactly the right size, I can go ahead and take that to my trimmer and then trim that off. How much fun is that little picnic parade? So, so, so cute. Now here is where I'm going to switch out that image. So I'm using the Spellbinders tool in one. I'm using just the kind of piercing tip on that uh, to pull out up my sticker very carefully so I don't ruin it. And then we're going to replace that with the hot dog sticker. Now for our second card, I wanted to do something different. I probably had enough images I could do an exact 
replica of this just using some different images for the ants and maybe having the ants go the other direction because there's both left and right facing ants but I opted to go ahead and create more of a little um, a little picnic scene that's off in the distance I guess you'd say you'd say so there is a great little picnic table image some trees and then we're going to use clouds and sunshine stickers from the uh, stamp set again and also some little ant stickers, all of the cute little things. So I'm going to use all the same background components. I just used a different die for our landscape there. And I'm going to lay those out first and play around with it before I press the stickers down in place too much. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting. I chose a different border here so that it would give me maybe a little bit more room for my sentiment along that landscape. And I want to use Be the Sunshine and then we're going to use a small phrase underneath. But once I kind of get my placement going how I want and I can see that the scene is coming together that's going to be super super cute, I can go ahead and start putting this together. We'll put a little adhesive on the back of our border and then place that right along the bottom edge. You will notice I didn't die cut that exactly straight. I knew I only had this little scrap here left of the Audrey Blue cardstock, and I also knew that I could cover that up with my border. So I didn't worry about it, um, that it didn't line up exactly perfect, and then it die cut or a little corner of that off or whatever. We're gonna just tuck that kind of under the stickers. I've not pressed them down in place really well yet on purpose. Let's pop that little ant out in front. And I probably handled that sticker a little too much. I might have to put a little dab of glue underneath to hold that down. Then adding the darling little sunshine, some little clouds. They're so, so cute, you guys. I think these images are so fun. Doodlebug has always been one of my favorites. Then we're going to have two little ants facing each other at the top of the hill with the little heart in between them. Some craft tweezers do come in handy when dealing with small images if you need to move them around a little bit. We'll put one more cloud kind of over here to the edge. Something I wanted to note, and I forgot to mention it with the first card, you will notice that quite a few images are hanging off either the sides or the top of the card on both card designs. So they're going out into that soft navy border. That is on purpose. I don't want to trim that part off. I think it still frames it up, but because it's not hanging off the side of the card, I opted to not trim that off of my center panel because I really like how that looks, kind of edging out and overlapping the mat that we have our little scene on. Then I'm stamping Be the Sunshine from the Hello Sunshine 6x8 stamp set. This is a great scripty sentiment and I'm just going to make sure that any little stray embossing powder flakes are removed before I heat set this. And then for my remaining sentiment, I could have stamped it right underneath, but I decided to go ahead and stamp it on, on a uh, contrasting color of cardstock. So there's some black cardstock that comes in the kit. I am going to be using that black cardstock to stamp the phrase sunny days ahead. I used the powder tool there on my cardstock before stamping and embossing, and I went ahead and removed any of that excess powder with a dry microfiber cloth. And I thought I needed a few more of those little ants over there by the picnic table. So we're just going to add a couple more over there. We'll stamp sunny days ahead on that black cardstock using clear embossing ink and heat embossing with white embossing powder. Once the embossing powder is dry, we want to go ahead and buff away any of that remaining powder with a dry cloth and then I am going to die cut this with the rounded edge nested banner die from Simon Says Stamp and that's just going to give it nice finished edges and a beautiful finished shape. Just tape that in place with a little repositionable tape and then run it through my die cutting machine.
and then I popped it up with a little foam adhesive right underneath my stamped sentiment. Or the other stamped sentiment, I guess I should say. And these little thin foam adhesive strips are fantastic for any little thin sentiment strip that you have to add to a project. And I want to center it as much as possible right underneath and get that straight. And then we will go ahead and adhere this to another card base that we create from some cardstock. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two slimline picnic parade cards featuring the August 2020 Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. Please be sure to visit the Simon Says Stamp blog for more information. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.